Hey guys, this is Roger Palomino and this week we have Power Up. Power Up has two effects, so we're going to go through them real quick. For the hero ability, it states that you get to reuse your character's ability once again this game. And for the villain effect, if you win the battle this turn, you get to choose one of your opponent's fighter and add an additional star to that battle. So we'll see what that looks like on the battlefield. So, Alright guys, we have Julio Masate here with 75 zeal, we have Jensen with 60 zeal, we have Eraser with 45 zeal, and we have Slagna with 6 zeal. So Julie's going to roll first, and she rolls a 6. Jensen rolls a 4. Eraser rolls a 7. And Slagno rolls a 10. So Slagno is the winner of this game. So everyone else is going to take damage this turn. So Julie takes damage, Jensen takes damage, and Eraser takes damage. So Julie draws first and she drew power up. So she gets to keep this card in her hand. Jensen drew H is for hero. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Jensen drew H is for heroes. So now this card activates. So this card activates. So everyone who is a hero gets to turn on a star this turn and they get to heal this turn. So she's the only hero of this game. And uh, now Eraser gets to draw. And he drew my... Uh, <clears throat> And he drew Healing Heart. So he gets to turn out a star this turn. So, so she, so she drew Power Up. So this is what it says. It says for Hero. If your fighter used their ability this game, you can use it again. So her ability, her effect is once per game you can choose. And once per game you can choose to negate one card effect you, that you drew. So, she naturally drew this card, but she wouldn't use her effect to negate it. But if she drew a red card, she would negate it. So let's see what happens. So after everyone drew their card, we check to see who had four stars face up. And clearly we see Jensen has four stars face up. So this is the end turn for him. So now he's KO'd this turn. Now it's between these three. So Julie rolls a seven. Eraser rolls a six. Slagno rolls an eleven. So he's the winner again this turn. So she turns up a star and he turns a star. So now Julie is on the verge of being KO'd this turn. But let's see what she draws this turn. She drew a red card. But she's going to use her ability to nullify this card immediately. Because she does not want to draw. She, she does not choose to let that card resolve its effect. So now a racer gets to draw this turn. So he drew super hard. So everyone gets to minus a star this turn. And she's, still, and she's still in the game. So now this card goes away. And now Julie can use this card pretty much. It doesn't say when she can use this card. So this, therefore it can be used at any time. So therefore she just chooses to activate now. During the end turn. To get her ability back again. So she, she can now negate another card's ability again. So now let's see the villain side effect for power up. So let's continue the battle. Julie is going to roll a 12. Now. Fun fact. Now, fun fact. She rolled a 12. This means this is the most powerful roll in the game, so therefore it's considered an unblockable. So therefore, even if Eraser or Slagno choose to block this turn, they're both going to flip a star no matter what, if, even if they blocked. The only way you can be safe from this attack is if you can tie it, but let's see what happens. Eraser is going to roll a 9, and Slagno rolls... <laughs> Slagno rolls a 9 as well, so therefore they're both going to take damage this turn. So now they both draw. Eraser drew power up. And Slagno drew random. So now he gets to roll this dice effect to see what happens. And he rolls a 5. So he rolled a 5, pretty much he gets to minus 3 stars from anybody on the battlefield, so he chooses to heal Julie. So he gets to turn on, she gets to turn on three, these stars from here. This card is removed from play. The deck is now shuffled afterwards. And now... Eraser has a power up now. So, villain, if your fighter wins the battle, plus one star to any other fighter on the battlefield. So let's see how what happens this turn. So Julie now rolls... She rolls a block. She rolls a block this turn. However, Eraser is going to be spiteful and uses ability to turn one of her die rolls to a one. So she rolls a five instead. And now Eraser rolls 
an eight. Now Slagno rolls, he rolls a six. So therefore, Eraser is now the winner this turn, and now he'll use the villain effect for power up. So he'll say power up this turn. And now he'll get to choose a cat, anybody on the battlefield to add an additional star to to add an additional star to damage. So this is what happens first. So this act, so first battle damage is done first, and then this effect triggers. So now he chooses Julie to take an additional star this turn. So as you can see, power up can help heroes and villains differently. So that's what power up does. So that's all we have for you for this week on New Energy All Stars tutorial. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next week for our next card on New Energy All-Stars tutorial. Take care.